How about those comments we just heard from the scam artist, Hoovy, a few moments ago? Man, I'll talk about that in a second, however. We see his newest associate, Tommy Gaunt, heading towards the ring. This is his debut match here on Overdrive. And look at the arrogance of Tommy Gunn. And where did the paparazzi come from? Oh, um, what the hell, dude? Seriously. Hey, this guy thinks he's some A-list Hollywood big shot. Oh, man. And as far as I'm concerned, Tommy Gunn, I and mean, he's a C-list Bush League wrestler. Or with an... Or with a freaking ego problem in Delia, And look at him. What's he trying to do? Hump the rope? But <laughs> nah, seriously. Hey, it was Tommy Gunn's out here made his debut in fashion last week. Hey, when he came out and jumped Cypher when he was scheduled to have a match. Man! I mean, look at him. Stupid haircut, his sunglasses. I mean, my God. <laughs> All right. But anyway, hey, we go from a new supremacy member to a former supremacy member to the Anarchy and now here towards the ring. And Anarchy was the first guy I had to feel who he grabbed last week. He, I mean, he had just lost a match to Raz, actually, now that I think about it. The pun, although the pun wasn't intended, but... Uh, yeah, Anarchy got beat by Raz last week, and put Hoovy through the line and kicked him out of supremacy. And he also kicked out Cypher, and he introduced Tommy Gunn. And of course, the monster Cadaverous was also kicked out of the group, and Hoovy told me before we went on that he's got more surprises in store for, for anyone who tries to, tries to step up to supremacy. And man. But yeah, let's talk about those things he would he had just said to Sam Weston before we went to break. Referee rings the bell and this match is underway. He, he still insists that CJ Hawkins' victory over him at the Summer Bash was a fluke and that he was lucky. Let me just say one thing right now. Hoovy, you got your ass beat. Accept it. I, I've never heard such crying and complaining. And, and Hoovy he is throwing out a challenge to CJ for our Lethal Lottery CPV. Hey, will CJ Hawkins accept? We might find out later because Sam Weston's going to be talking to him. Um, and Anarchy in control over this newcomer, Tommy Gunn. Whoa! Big back suplex! And Anarchy's got a lot of pent-up aggression and he's taking out. Oh, he's taking it out right here in Tommy Gunn. You know he would love to take it out on Hoovy. And man. And the, Oh, cover right here too? No. Could not get the three. But yeah, Hoovy said that before that while the A gay, our former general manager, was still in charge. He had, Oh, that was just bullshit. Look at Tommy Gunn. I, I cannot believe that. But before he got fired, the A-Gay put a clause in Hoovy's contract that said he could get a rematch if he lost the title. As far as I'm concerned, Hoovy doesn't deserve a rematch because he hasn't earned a rematch. And he's a little bitch who has to do things like interfere in matches and fake his death to get ahead in this company. I mean, it's funny. It's really funny. Hey, but you know, as Anarchy continues to work on Tommy Gunn right here, Russian leg sweep. Yeah, uh, and I guess those last few weeks on Aftershock, when the instant classic Shadow MC was taking all those jabs at Hoovy, Hoovy, I think Hoovy drew the line. I think he drew the line with that choke artist comment. Oh man, man. But honestly, I don't think Hoovy calling Shadow MC a douchebag is going to bother MC in the least. And I certainly don't think it's going to keep him out of Hoovy's business. Hell, MC told me that a starting shit with people on any of the brands is his business. Man, and I just got to think right here because as Shadow MC did have a point, freaking... 
The MC Coalition dominated the Summer Bash and Supremacy was dominated. And, and Anarchy. Oh, Sidewalk Slam from the top rope on Tommy Gunn. But man, and usually Hoobie's cockiness would just allow him to ignore such insults like the ones we've been hearing from Shadow MC, but uh, he's going through so much crap right now uh, that I think. I guess we should have expected him to respond at some point. Nice move there by Tommy Gunn. And how in the world is he wrestling with his sunglasses on? Whoa, nice springboard splash. And how the hell did his sunglasses not fall off after doing that? And there's another one. Man. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to find out. I guess, I guess we're going to find out later. Oh, and look at him. He must be taking his lessons well from the scam artist, Tommy Gunn, mocking Anarchy. Yeah, I guess we're going to find out a little later, though, if it's going to be on for Lethal Lottery, Hawkins, Hoovy 2. Oh, wait a minute. Ow! Oh. Tommy Gunn. And going up. Oh! Nice execution right there. Tommy Gunn goes for the cover here. Lateral press two. No. Anarchy gets the shoulder off. Man. Man. But yeah, I still can't believe the ignorance of the scam artist to continually insist that CJ Hawkins' win was a fluke. Nice moonsault by Tommy Gunn. You got the leg hook right here. Two. No. But man, it's like, hey, oh, wait a minute, hey, wait a minute, Tommy Gunn, this might be the Playmaker, oh no, Playmaker, uh, oh, oh, man, he just twisted him open like a, like a cork on a wine bottle, but Anarchy was near the rope, so this match continues, Hurricane Ron right there into a volley of right hands by Tommy Gunn, who indeed is kind of, Kind of firing away like a Tommy gun right now. <laughs> now wait a minute though. R One, Rob Schoolboy right here. Two count. But yeah, I'm just wondering what... Uh, I, I'm just wondering now I think about why Shadow MC is busting on Hoobie continuously every week. There you go. I think he just... I asked him about it and he told me. Rope break. I asked about it. Out it when at aftershock last week. Excuse me, guys. He's, he told me this, JD. It's this simple. I'm better than Hoovy. I'm better than everybody else in BYU. Oh, and the MC Coalition can beat Supremacy's ass any day of the week. <laughs> and I was like, oh damn, <laughs> man. Cause I think ever since winning that U.S. title, MC's gotten a little cocky. But then again, he is the one with a belt right now, and Hoovy's the one who feels kind of naked. But anyway, Tommy Gunn, and again hits the moonsault, and this time it's going to be over. Tommy Gunn has the leg hook. No! Anarchy kicks out. Again, arm dragged there by Tommy Gunn, and who you can tell is getting a little frustrated. But then again, maybe if he took his damn sunglasses off and realized the reality of the situation... Wait a minute. Tommy Gunn. Wait a minute. What the hell is he doing? He's got a steel chair. Tommy Gunn has a steel chair. There. Oh. Anarchy blocked it. And now each. Uh, Tommy got blocked. Oh, he hits him with a chair. Oh, that is it. Good night. Hey, the referee's throwing this one out. Now, Anarchy's going to win this one by disqualification. 